Hello, it's Jennifer Savari, and today is a very special day for me. I'm doing a collaboration with Olga, and for our project, we each decided to do an under the sea shaker card. The You Are Treasured card that I made for today has a treasure chest on the outside of the window showing through to the shaker with an ocean background that also creates a frame around the outside of the card. I used the treasure chest die from Frantic Stamper and it's actually part of a giveaway today. So make sure to leave a comment below and check the description for more details. I started out by cutting out two of the treasure chests. I find that if I work with uh, duplicates, sometimes I'm not as nervous to mess something up. So uh, a lot of times I'll make two of something and then just choose the one I like better. Especially with a project like this where no two are ever going to come out exactly the same. Usually for a wood texture, I would emboss it or uh, stamp it on, but in this case, there are little slats that the dies provide, and so that does not allow for an embossing folder to be used. The wood texture needed to be created with brush strokes, and so I just went in with a really light hand and lots of layers and tried not to overblend everything. When I got a good base, uh, I went in with some walnut stain and darkened it up around the edges. And for the inside of the lid, I went in with some black soot and just kind of darkened it, darkened it up even more. And I actually used the, the guide of the picture for where to kind of put the shadows. For the metal parts, I went in with a washing of black soot and then rusty hinge dabbed on. Once I built up those layers and put just a little washing of fine tech gold here and there, I also dabbed on uh, the black soot distress oxide. I could have splattered it, but I kind of wanted it to just be real crisp at the same time. So that's how I did that. With the fine tech gold, I also went in and did a base layer. This will be pretty much hidden, but I did a base layer of the gold and then also did some little trinkets to put in with the treasure. I don't usually plan out embellishments. Instead, I like to go through my dies and just have a big selection to choose from when I go to put them on. And so that's what I did here. I just die cut a bunch and then colored them. And then for the background, I went into my stash and this was something I had created before. I've actually got a video that I'll link in my description of how I made that. The base card is a watercolor note card and so I wanted the top to match the base. And so I cut off half of one of the watercolor note cards to use as the top. After cutting down the top of the note card, I used the fourth largest square from the memory box nested squares to create a little frame. Now I needed to cut down the um, background and I'm not much of a measurer so I just used a pencil to kind of give me a guide there and, and that fit just fine. Now I'm using the Ellen Hudson craft board instead of foam to create the dimension for my shaker. And I love how this creates such a nice, sturdy backing. This is uh, very thick, and I'm layering three pieces on top of each other. You'll see me here creating the squares, and I'm just using a pencil to uh, help me with the die placement. The square that I cut out was one size larger than the one I used for my watercolor sheet. Because this is the backing, I wanted that square to be just a little bit larger so that no edges would be shown if somebody looked in from the side. And I just love the mermazing messages from Hero Arts, and so I chose the You Are Treasured to put as my sentiment. Because this is watercolor paper with a slight texture, I did use my Misty in case I didn't get a good stamp the first time. And then I just heat embossed it with some Hero Arts Platinum um, embossing powder, which is just a wonderful mix of gold and silver. Next, it was time to adhere the acetate to the inside of the window, and so I did that using a tape runner and just made sure that that was a really good seal there. And then it was just about time to start assembling the shaker, but before I did that, I love these little fish that come with this mermazing set. And I've never been scuba diving, but my brother was telling me about a time he had, and he thought it was so neat how when he was under the water, he could see the fish off in the distance and there were big fish and there were little fish but I just thought that was neat so that's why I did that. In the end these little fish really didn't show up because the color that I used to stamp them with 
just match the background too closely. But I still am glad that they're there and I know they're there. <laughs> so next I adhered the craft board to the back of the acetate window and I did this with glue and just made sure to make a, a nice tight seal. I'm going to be using some sand and I wanted to make sure that no little sand pieces escaped out of the front. And then I'm using uh, this Recollections um, background to create an ocean floor and I just free cut little curve and thought that matched well. And then I glued uh, some of the plants to the um, backing of it before I adhered it face down. And then I just went ahead and put the sequins in. The shaker elements came from a lot of different collections. I just kind of picked out the colors I wanted to use and also used one of those little golden cups that I had painted earlier. And then here I am just attaching the background. And I like to use glue here because it gives me a chance to kind of move it around if it wasn't perfectly centered. There's a few seconds there to do that. I actually really loved this card, just how it was, but I was also very excited for the treasure chest. So it was time to start assembling that, and I did a double layer just of the metal pieces so that there would be a little extra dimension and they'd kind of pop out. And then I inlaid the wood pieces. Now I'm using the Art Glitter Dries Clear Adhesive. Uh, the multimedia mat would be great too here because it does adhere to the acetate a little bit better than other glues. So I'm just inlaying all the parts and putting all the little metal pieces on. I put the lock down in the bottom right corner. Um, I did trim off a little section of this um, treasure contents, but I started off by gluing that in and then I just put a, a nice coat of glue over top so that I could start adding different sequins and I kind of wish I would have done a layer of glitter and a few less sequins, but there are so many different ways this could be done. And I also put in some jewels. I'm using actually um, some little Swarovski crystals here. I love the uh, color variety that they have. Now this seahorse, the original plan was to put it in with the treasure, but that didn't work. So he wound up just kind of floating around until I, I propped him up against the uh, treasure chest at the end. I used some double-sided adhesive tape to adhere this to the base of the card, and I just love the way this card feels in the hand. It's the watercolor, so it's got that cushy feel, yet because of the craft board, it's very, very solid. Um, very nice, and I also went in with some black soot distress paint to kind of tone down those um, jewels just a little bit and help that kind of match the treasure chest worn look. And then I had an extra flower, so I just glued that onto the inside, and the card was done. Thanks so much for stopping by today, and to win this die, just simply leave a comment down in the comment section below, and I'll choose one random winner. Details are in the description. To be notified of future videos as they come out, click the subscribe button below. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out Olga's video of this gorgeous shaker card. And Olga, thank you so much for doing a collaboration video with me. You are so talented and thank you for everything you do for the crafting community. I hope you have a great day.